Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor by Past Life Pro, and would you believe it? It has come to my attention that this version of the SUS is actually capable of producing reflections in the blocks, similar to how the V10.1 preview 2 used to run things. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get rain reflections working in the SUS V10.2 preview and ultra. I know you're itching to start, so let's begin. To start things off, make sure you have the SUSE unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore terrain.fsh. Using notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 333. Just by looking at this set of code, I bet you're wondering, what is it that I have to do? Well, just this, change the star sign to a plus sign. Honestly, I had no clue a star sign or an addition sign made any difference, so if anybody could explain what this means, I'd much appreciate it. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. When you made it in-game, keeping in mind the fact that you didn't mess up that one important step, you'll find that rainy days do now have their glossy reflective look, so enjoy this. But before I go, I'd just like to thank Indie Minecraft for bringing to light this code change, of which I previously never knew existed. <laughs> So, anyway, if this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!